Hey guys, Corey with Famous Media. Today, I want to talk about a problem that's been plaguing most of Nikon's DSLR cameras, the aperture and live view. So guys, uh, the aperture and live view issue is plaguing most of uh, Nikon's DSLR cameras, their consumer ones and most of their prosumer ones, like the Nikon uh, D300S, the D7000, the D7100, even the D600 full frame camera has got the same problem. Now many people online in different forum boards and communities are discussing the possibilities of uh, firmware updates and how it's going to fix the issue and some people swear by it. Now there's a misconception here on how this actually works. Inside the camera you have a motor driven mechanism that adjusts the gilded lenses, the G lenses, that don't have a manual aperture ring. The D800, D800E and the D4 have this motor driven capability while in live view. The D7000, the D7100, the D300S do not. Uh, neither does the D600. What this means is that in order for you to switch the aperture you have to go out of live view which closes the sensor down and brings down the mirror. That allows you to select where you want your aperture to be and then when you go back into live view, it adjusts the aperture. There's another trick you can do, switch from live view and movie mode to photo mode, but when you switch the aperture, it doesn't give you a live preview because the motor is not actually changing the aperture in real time. It changes it when you go to take a picture, if you listen carefully, the mirror will come down and go back up and you're actually creating a shutter count. So in reality, even when you do that and then switch back to movie mode, the shutter closes and reopens to reset the aperture. There's no way to get live time, uh, or should I say real time, uh, aperture control in those cameras. The motor is not there. Um, I don't know why Nikon did this. It makes no sense. They just beyond me, it boggles my mind to know why you could buy a D600 for 2000 and not have this feature. And now I'm very frustrated with this because of my D7100. However, I do have a D800E and I'm gonna be getting a D4. So for me, it's not really an issue, but I feel for so many people that need this feature. So a firmware update is not gonna fix this issue. The motor is not there. Nikon has left this out completely from the D600, D7000, D7100 and D300S. Basically, if you want to run Aperture and Live View and you want all the extra features, you're going to have to buy a D800, a D800E, or a D4. So of course Nikon's going to uh, do this to us. They want us to buy their flagship cameras. Uh, the D7100 is a great camera. I still use it for video. It's fantastic and it would have been even better with Aperture and Live View. They just need to open their eyes and stop doing this because Canon doesn't do it to any of their entry-level DSLRs. Even the T2i, which is $500, will give you Aperture and Live View. So if they can fix this issue, great to them. If they don't, I think it's kind of a, a low blow to the community and they need to uh, uh, fix their business motto on their cameras and how they want to make money. But other than that, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Um, once again, you can't control the aperture and live view in any of those cameras I discussed and firmware updates will not fix this issue. It is a motor mechanical driven issue and I'm just hoping that I was able to clear that up for a lot of people out there who think firmware has anything to do with it when I'm sorry, it just does not. Um, so again, uh, subscribe to my channel. We've got more videos coming out. I hope it's been helpful for you. I hope I was able to uh, shed some light on this situation. I'm Corey with Famous Media. Happy shooting.